Hey guys, I mentioned that we're going to be doing something a little bit different, so we're going to be looking at my sim setup right now. Um, this is the sim Next Level Racing version 2 GT Ultimate Cockpit. We're going to be taking a look about things I like, things I dislike, and give you a little overview of what I think and the value of the product is. So stay tuned and uh, let's get into it. <music> So when you get your GT version 2 Ultimate, um, you're going to get two different boxes, one for the chair and one for the wheel stand. I'm going to do a review of both of these combined, even though you can buy them separately. So um, let's get into the price range we're looking at. We're looking at $799 for brand new. I got mine a little bit cheaper because I found it um, from a seller that didn't really want it anymore. Um, so that can be a little bit pricey and that's probably going to go into things I don't like. Let's hop into things that I do like about this product. So first let's get into things that come in the box and then some accessories that you can buy for your uh, GT Ultimate 2 cockpit here. Okay, so things that come in the box. Obviously you're going to get your Ultimate set up here. You're going to get the chair and you're going to get the wheel stand. Uh, two additional things that come with two different gear shifter holders. That way the angle is a little bit different on each of them. That way you can pick the one that you feel is best for you. It comes with some Velcro zip ties for some cable management and all the screws and tools that you're going to need to assemble your Ultimate cockpit. Now for accessories, there's a very wide range of accessories you can get for this. Um, personally, my favorite though is this motion platform. It is like $3,000, so keep that in mind, but you can do some pretty cool things with it. I'm personally not going to buy it, but hey, in the future, you might. Okay, so talking about things I like about the seat. First of all, it's comfort. This comfort is really nice, especially because it's made of this fabric material, and it's not uh, a type of leather or something, so that means you're not going to really sweat, and when you sit down on it, it's not going to really feel too cold or feel too hot or anything so it feels pretty nice when you sit in it for long periods of time also the adjustable seating position is very nice like sometimes I just want to sit back and relax and put my feet up on my sub down here or you can even almost lay down in this thing uh, or keep it right upright or something in the middle so it's just nice to have a couple different of options so next let's talk about this cushion thing this I don't really know what it's called but uh, it's pretty cool it adds a lot of like support and you can adjust it you can take it out put it lower put it higher and it really provides a lot of long-term uh, comfort because if you use it without it it is like a racing seat but you don't have a whole lot of back support so this is nice the construction is very sturdy considering it's all metal um, the only gripe I have is sometimes it squeaks a little bit but uh, you can just tighten it down and that really uh, eliminates that problem it just like a real car it uses some metal sliders so you can go back and forth as shown right here um, it is hard bolted together in place, so it's nothing's like friction fit or anything like that, which makes it feel really sturdy and it, it's not going to move around on you, basically. It looks pretty cool. Uh, this halo design really isn't that functional, but it gives your hand a nice spot to hold sometimes where you can lean your head against it. So uh, while it's not really functional, it looks pretty cool, and sometimes you can find a use for it sooner or later. Also, the seatbelts. The seatbelts aren't really functional. I don't have them tied in right now, but... It is a cool design and if you really want to get really realistic with it, you can bolt them down and use the seatbelts as a real seatbelt. It is only a four point harness, nothing bigger than that though. Okay, so for things I don't like, first of all, it gets pretty hard to assemble. It comes in two big boxes, each box weighing around 50 pounds, so it's about 108 pounds total when you buy both of the things together. Um, it comes in lots of parts, but all tools are included for assembly. It just takes a little bit of time. I expect about an hour to assemble this thing. So since this is such a big thing, it is fairly difficult to store in small areas. Um, it does fold up, which is very helpful compared to other stands. So that is a benefit and a con. It does take up a lot of space, but it can fold up. So um, Another thing is it's not adjustable for the steering wheel placement. Um, as the pedals are adjustable, the steering wheel is not. So once you lock the steering wheel in place, it can only do so much. It can go up and down on this axis right here, but it can't come forward towards you. And that's what I'd really like to see, because for people with short arms, it might get a little difficult if you have your arms straight out. So I would like to see that. And since the seat is adjustable, it goes back and forth. It doesn't go forth far enough. So I don't know why the point of having the seat go as far back as it does, since I always use the seat in the farthest forward position, and I am 6'1". So I, I just don't understand why they did that. Um, the last thing is the price. It is expensive. $800 for the setup just for the metal part, the seat, and the stand for the wheel and stuff like that is pretty expensive. And considering you don't get some of these adjustability options, you do have to consider the value. Is it worth it for you? Um, for me, I got it off of a used, used hand, so it wasn't nearly as expensive, about $500. So for me, it was worth it. It is something to consider, though, when you're thinking about it. So for my final thoughts for this GT Ultimate 2 by Next Level Racing, 
Um, I really like it. It's very sturdy, very comfortable. It really gets the job done well. My only gripe is the price, really. But if the price isn't a problem to you, this might be a system to look into. Um, the value can be there if it is. Um, but other than that, I really like this setup, and uh, hopefully this review is helpful for you guys. Um, if you have any questions about the products, just leave them down. And uh, maybe I'll do a review on my setup or some other things about here. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Fingers down my side. Girl, you look nice.